All right, guys, so we know how to make a layout in a couple different ways. We know how to organize our widgets around the screen. Now, let's get to the good stuff. Let's learn how to make that GUI or the widgets actually interact with our computer program. So the first thing I want to show you guys is how you can, it's called binding a function to a widget. In other words, how you can do something like click a button and it can call a function in your computer program. So let's go ahead and make a very simple function first. I'll just make something called like a print name. So of course, the only thing that this is going to do is it's just going to print something out on the screen right here. So just like before, whenever we just use print and we'll pass something like, hello, my name is Bucky. That's all the function does. So how do we indeed call this through the GUI? Well, of course, what I want to do is I want to call this whenever I click a button on the screen. So the first thing we need, of course, is a button. We'll call it button one. And in order to make a button, use the button object. Where do you want to put it? Well, we just put it in our main window. That'll be the parent. Next, what text do you want to appear on the button? And I'll just say, uh, I don't know, like print name or print my name might as well now the last thing the last parameter that this button is going to take is this it's a new parameter called command now what you can do is you can add this parameter and it says whenever I click this run a certain function well what function we only have one it's called print name so I'm going to throw print name in there so basically this says build a button with these properties and also whenever you click it call the function print name and another thing I want to point out is whenever you use this make sure not to have those parentheses right there so that's another thing that uh, I don't know you just have to keep it in mind so now what we have to do is actually have this display on the screen so button one we'll just keep things simple pack it in and check it out so I'm gonna run this and of course we just have a very basic button and if I can there we go so now I'm gonna click it and keep an eye down here so whenever I click it all it does is it calls print name which just prints something very simple out in the command line now of course eventually I'm gonna be showing you guys how to actually make text appear on your GUI and just a little preview it involves just changing I don't know, one way is just changing a label you can um you know change it to like cello my name is Bucky or whatever you want to do but that is the very basics and this is called binding a function to a widget in other words connecting this function to this widget in other words a button click now since we have actually a lot of time left I'll show you guys um I don't want to say that it's a better way but it's definitely another way that we can bind functions to widgets and that's this so inside actually let me do this first we don't need this command anymore because I'm gonna be showing you guys another technique that you can use and in this print name right here what we're gonna do is we're gonna pass it in an event now an event to your computer is just something that occurs well what can occur well you can have a button click from the user you can have a scroll you can have I don't know a mouse movement you can have a button clicked on the keyboard all of these things are called events basically something that the user can do so what we want to say is whenever a specific event occurs then call some function accordingly so you may have an event or a function that gets called whenever you left click a button you may be um, have a different function that gets called whenever you right click on a button for right now I'll just say pretty much the same thing we just said but in a different kind of way we'll say this on button one what we want to do is we want to call this function called bind now bind takes two parameters what event are you waiting for to occur and what function do you want to call whenever that event does occur well the event name for left clicking your mouse button is this button 
minus one or button one and make sure you put them in between this less than sign and greater than sign so the events they look kind of weird but this button one is the left mouse button so that's the event whenever you click it and what function do we want to occur well print name just before and also another thing whenever you call a function make sure not to have this right here and this is pretty much think of it like this whenever we click a button that's all we're doing we're just doing something really simple we're not passing it in any additional information we can't like oh, like click three times and pass it in the number three so that's why we don't need those parentheses right now so again this binds a button click to the function so whenever we run it just like before you click it and it says okay well, I clicked it, and what do you want me to do whenever I click it? Just print the name. So those are two different techniques of how we can pretty much make our computer program or GUI interactive by binding functions to widgets. So in the next couple of tutorials, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys about different kinds of events and also how we can have our GUI change dynamically so we don't need everything to appear in this little console right there so for now thank you guys for watching as always and uh well check out my forum and i'll see you later